Hello everyone, Miri here. Lovely to see you on the seventh week. Sorry for skipping last week. I had a really busy week with my daughter's first birthday. Yes, she's one year old. Crazy, I know. This week's episode is called How Not to Interview. So let's just jump to it. What is an interview? What is an interview? An interview is basically a sequence of questions, conversation, conversations, uh, very interesting interactions to get information and emotions from your contributor or subject that you cannot get from filming their daily lives. Interviews, if done beautifully well, you get an amazing experience. Otherwise, you get a series of talking heads. Pardon? No, I am not a friend. I am not uh, afraid. It doesn't matter. This is a very special episode. It's the first time I'm going to share my filmmaking experience and journey. And most importantly, I'm going to share my mistakes with you, hoping that you're going to laugh and learn and share them with your friends. You ready? One, two, three. The very first thing you need to do is set up, preferably arrive a little bit ahead of your subject. Pick a frame, unless you're shooting Apple's next MacBook commercial. Please don't pick a white background. To create something that's that's genuinely new, you have to, to start again. Don't. Warm up your subject with a lovely conversation. Don't acknowledge the camera. <laughs> Why don't you do all of them again? Did you record that? Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Never stop the camera. Keep the camera rolling at all times. You never know what you're going to miss out on. When you're least expected. Bo! What are you doing in the stairs? <laughs> the emotional. You'll see the funny. Another question, please. Stop the camera. Unless you're making a documentary about bench donors, do me a massive favor and avoid parks at all costs. When I read Shakespeare, it's like I have to have like a dictionary, <laughs> you know, some spark notes or something, so I can understand what on earth he's talking about. They're a ridiculous, massive trap of uncontrollable environment. <gasps> ah, stupid helicopter. <laughs> Just take a break until they noisy, distracting. Why? Uncontrollable lights. Literally the crappiest environment you can ever film in. Don't bother. Whenever you're getting deep and emotional, frame closer to your subject. Oh. How you got to the cave? Like your story. Take your time thinking about it when the sound wears off was if you can answer. Never ever 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 film next to a construction site. If you have to do that, ask the construction workers what time are they gonna take their next break. That's when you film. Otherwise. <laughs> when it comes to radio mic, make sure they're safe and sound and locked in a pocket. When radio mics become noisy, reposition them and start over. Loose jewelry is not your friend. Because you're gonna move your hands, you're gonna explain stuff. Everything off. No, no, I did clear up fine. This is good setup. If your subject is mumbling or not speaking loud enough, make sure they do speak louder. Oh, is this fine? Because sometimes I go really low and sometimes high, and then so what is what is better? Oh, no. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> make sure you know when they've had enough. I don't have to leave me like the camera. <laughs> Keep the moral support. <laughs> you need to push and pull for emotions till you find the sweet spot. Push and push and push and for more emotions. When appropriate, share your personal stories. It's only fair when they share that you share. <laughs> Don't be afraid to give them a challenge. You'd be surprised by their response. It might get weird, but that's okay. Weird is good. Get closer, get closer, closer. Reframe, 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 reframe. Explain to me why you wear it. Uh, that's a very personal question. I can't answer that question. 
it's totally okay to rephrase a question because most of the time it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Why there should be a, a uniform, or why there should be a way for everyone to dress the same. Create the environment and give them space to express themselves. We are traveling, traveling down the river of our souls. Only Lord knows. Only you may know. Only you. So may we find mercy and sincerity down this journey. Give an indication of how much is left. One question before last. Just one little more question <laughs> to end this. Make sure you take criticism very well and relax. <laughs> And most importantly, say thank you. You're welcome. Because people give you time and share their lives and they didn't have to do it. This is it. Thank you for watching. Please do me a massive favor and share with two of your closest friends. Send them personal messages right now. Tell them how great this video is. I'll be forever grateful. <laughs>